প্রিয় দর্শক মূল সহিতে আছে জন্মজয় সরকার চন্দ্রায়ন থ্রি সফলতার পিছন এতিয়ার পরবর্তী ইসরোর মিশন হল মিশন আদিত্য এল ওয়ান আর এল ওয়ানত ডিজাইন ডিজাইনর জড়িত আছে তেজপুর ইউনিভার্সিটির পদার্থ বিজ্ঞানের ছাত্র জন্মেজয় সরকার বর্তমান পুনে তখে রিসার্চ করে আছে আর এই গোটাই মিশনটা তখে ডিজাইনত তখন জড়িত তো মূল সাথে জন্মেজয় আছে জন্মেজয় ওয়েলকাম টু নিউজ এইটিন আসাম নর্থ ইস্ট ফার্স্ট অফ অল কংগ্রেচুলেশনস এস উই কংগ্রেচুলেট কংগ্রেচুলেট আস আই কংগ্রেচুলেট ইউ অন বিহাফ অফ দ্য সাকসেস অফ চন্দ্রায়ন থ্রি এন্ড ইউর ফার্স্ট থ্রি ওয়ার্ডস অন দ্য সাকসেস অফ চন্দ্রায়ন থ্রি Uh, I'm extremely happy. Uh, many of my friends and colleagues have worked with Chandrayaan-3 and uh, it's very nice to see that India reaching the surface of the moon and uh, creating a landmark for the entire globe. It's not only a success for ISRO or for us, it's a success for our entire country and also for the world, I think. Right. Now, that increases the pressure on you because next is your mission to sun. Aditya L1. First of all, tell us what is Aditya L, uh, L1 and what is the mission all about? So, Aditya L1 is a scientific mission to observe the sun. And uh, it, the speciality about uh, Aditya L1 is, be, is that it is being sent to this point called the Lagrange point, Earth Sun Lagrange point. So, this is a location uh, in between the Earth and the sun. It's not exactly in the middle. It's very close to the Earth compared to the distance to the Sun. It's just 1% closer to the Sun than uh, what, like, the Sun is 150 million kilometers away and the Lagrange one point is 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. That's around approximately four times the distance of the Moon, of moon from the Earth. So the advantage of uh, Aditya L1 is that since it's going to L1 point, it can observe the sun at all times. So what happens is, if there is a satellite, the satellite keeps going around the Earth. So if the sun is on one side and the satellite is going around the Earth, there is a time when the satellite can look at the sun in this direction. And there is some time when it's behind the Earth in the night on the night side, where it can't see the Earth, uh, where it can't see the sun, it's, uh, it's obscured and by the Earth. And then again, when it comes out, it can see the sun. So there will be times when the satellite cannot observe the sun. However, the advantage of sending something in between Earth and Sun is that it's not going to go around the Earth. It's going to stay at a point between the Earth and Sun so that it can continuously see the Sun. It does not matter whether it's day or night, whether the satellite, which direction the satellite is going, it can always keep looking at the Sun continuously. So like, like, like uh, the, the L1 would be stationary at one point? It will not be stationary. There is this Lagrange point and it will go around that Lagrange point, always looking at the Sun. Okay. Instead of going around the Earth, it, it will go it, it, it won't be orbiting the Sun, uh, Earth. It won't be orbiting the Earth, no. It will kind of like, it will kind of become like a planet to the Sun. It will go okay. around the Sun along with the Earth. So it, it will come in between the Earth and the Sun and move yes. around a point? Yes. And constantly, and constantly look at the Sun? That's right, yes sir. Okay. And like, what will it, will it research upon? It will be observing mainly the... Uh, mainly the activity of the sun. So the sun is a very dynamic object. We don't realize it from the earth sitting over here that the, sun, the brightness of the sun, it appears very, uh, it appears very constant. And it, today's sun appears almost like tomorrow's sun when in our daily life, we don't see the sun to be any diff different on any day. But uh, if we see from a research point of view, if we see a very magnified view of the sun, then we realize there is a lot of activity going on in the sun. There are many flares, there are many bright spots, very dark spots. There are many uh, fire-like plasma. It's, it's shooting out of the sun. There are lots of things that's happening on the sun. So those things need to be studied because whatever happens on the sun, in some way or the other, it affects our life on Earth. Because, uh, yeah. So how do you uh, contribute to the entire mission? So my contribution would be that uh, I was present, uh, I was a member of the Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope uh, payload. And this telescope is supposed to observe the sun in near ultraviolet light in the uh, wavelength band that is responsible for uh, Earth's sun. It is very, it, it has a big contribution in climatic interactions on, uh, it's on the sun's effect on our uh, Earth's uh, ozone layer and 
these things. So my involvement was in the development on the integration and testing and the calibration of these instru of this instrument. So uh, after the manufacturing of all the parts, these parts have to be meticulously placed in position. They have to be tuned to give the best possible performance. They have to be tested for scientific data, for giving reliable scientific data. And uh, that was uh, my activity and my contribution. So that, that part is accomplished now? Like you have done your part? Yes, that part is completed. And uh, the payload, suit payload, and all the other payloads are integrated on the Aditya L1 satellite. And the satellite is being prepared for launch within the next couple of weeks. So when, when can we tentatively expect the launch time? Well, to to uh, well, picture, I believe, but still. Yes, uh, presently there has not been any uh, official uh, official announcement about the launch date. So uh, even, I mean, it's we'll have to wait for ISRO's. Uh, so when, 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 when you watch today's entire ISRO atmosphere, when, when everybody actually jumped out of their seat uh, to cheer the moment, like, don't you some, somewhere deep in your heart have that feeling that when would be our time, that when we actually leap out and have the success of our Aditya L1? Definitely, definitely. It's the same, it's the same thing that uh, I felt exactly like you described, that uh, maybe one fine day we will also jump out of our seats right. and cherish this moment when but Aditya today, reaches L1. Today's success actually boosts your moral, the entire Aditya L1 team. Definitely, definitely, yes. Uh, now, coming back to Tezpur University, like uh, uh, Chandrayaan 3 also has a scientist from Assam who actually is a product of Tezpur University. And Choyon is a, a product of yes. university. Now you are the second person to be associated with the second mission from the same, in the same university. So do, does some credit go to the university also? Definitely, definitely. I would definitely say that uh, not some, a lot of credit goes to the university, along with all the other organizations I'm associated with, along with Ayuka and along with ISRO. Uh, definitely, Tezpur University has a huge contribution because uh, I have, I, I did my master's from 2018 at Tezpur University and uh, during that phase, I have worked very closely at uh, Tezpur University Observatory. And my experiences from uh, the observatory from my work from my project whatever i did over there that has helped me a lot in pushing me towards this this stage where uh, i'm involved in a prestigious mission like aditya so what are you involved now with well my phd is on uh, the integration and testing of aditya which is uh, which has almost been i mean which has been completed and so aditya, along with this, aditya has been your thesis project Aditya has been my thesis project, yes. Okay. Uh, not exactly Aditya, suit the payload, solar ultraviolet imaging telescope, suit payload. It is a part of my thesis. And uh, along with that, uh, the next portion would be to perform uh, science with the data that comes from suit and to create scientifically significant information with uh, the data that comes from Aditya and from suit. Congratulations, and, and I hope that you actually. But when you are associated with a project like Aditya L1, and when Aditya L1 becomes your research and thesis project, definitely your 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 your, your success is but inevitable. It is bound to come, and when, along with uh, Aditya's success, your success is also bound to come. Now, my first, last thing I would like to ask you: that you have stayed in Assam for a long time. That's now, right. मरम मरम तो इनिटी अवदान <laughs> 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 
Avodan Virat. I mean, I would say that uh, that the contribution of the university is huge. Uh, university jetu uh, support diye th di thake student or student ho. He support to lage aru uh, success kori bo karone. Aru university thodi jenu ko experience hoya se. He experience to bohut uh, kamot ahe. Etiya uh, mane kam kori bolle. So apunak. Uh, Okay, thunno ba news hai chino ekon homoi diar babe aur apuna subhesha jasi shu jay son adikta L1 hokol ho logote apuna PhD hokol ho aur apuni a Tespur University logote Bharat Bharat ko naam aru chal kare thunno ba. Thank you.